Subscribers and welcome to the Lunar Diplomacy Quest Guide. The quest requirements are Lost City, Fremenic Trials and Silo Village. The skill requirements are 65 Magic, 61 Crafting, 60 Mining, 55 Woodcutting, 49 Fire Making, 40 Defense and 5 Herb Lore. The item requirements are Magic Weapon and Magic Armor, do not use any other styles, 1000 coins, around 200 fire and air runes, a Draymond staff, check your bank for that, otherwise we will get it right after these requirements. A spade, tool belt doesn't work, two threads, a clean quam and clean marantil, some food if you are low level, and seven free inventory shots. The recommended items are a ring of dueling with one charge, enlightened amulet with one charge, skills necklace with one charge, one lambria teleport scroll, a wicked hood with air, water, earth and fire talismans used into it, and the recommended unlocks are lowstones to Fremnic province, al Karid, Hedgeville, Lumridge and Varrock. Have some quick teleport charges from using Bitswax to speed things up, and the enemies will be level 73 to 84. Let's go! To start off, we will be getting the Draymond Staff. If you have it already, you can skip this part. Otherwise, use the Wicked Hood's Law Altar Teleport or the Portsarim Lodestone and travel by clicking on the Monks of Entrana. When you get there, the place is in the northwestern section. Click on the ladder. Option 2. Go southeast. You can skip the enemies and you don't need to kill the tree spirit anymore. Go to the most southern room and click on the tree. Click on the branch, choose the knife option. You can also chop some more because you need cinnamon for receive for disaster freeing Sir Amic Vars by selecting the second option, pestle and mortar. Use the lowstone to a bank and get the items you need for the quest. They were mentioned in the beginning. To start off, use the lowstone to Fremenic province. Head west into the city. Keep going to west and it is the most western dock. Right click Logar Sea Runner and talk to him. Option 2 Option 1 Accept the quest Go east to the long hall. Talk to print the chieftain. Option one. You will get a seal. Go west back to Lokar by the docks. Right click Logar Sea Runner and talk to him. Option 1 Climb up the ladder.
climb up another ladder. Go east to the ship and talk to Captain Bentley. Option 4. Talk to Bentley again. Go south through the door and climb down the ladder. Talk to Bird's Eye Jack. Climb up, talk to Captain Bentley again. Option 2. Go south, climb down the ladder and talk to Bird's Eye Jack again. Climb up the ladder and talk to Captain Bentley. Now you have to talk to the NPCs in this specific order. Go north and talk to Eagle Eye Schultz. Go south, climb down the ladder. Go north, climb down the ladder. Go south and talk to Beefy Burns. Go north and climb up the ladder. We are heading to the top of the ship. Go south, climb up the ladder. Climb up the nearby stairs. Talk to Lesheros Lee. Climb down the stairs, go south and talk to first mate Davy Boy. Climb up the stairs. You need two free inventory shots. Talk to Cabin Boy. From your inventory, use the lens to the lantern. Click on the lantern to light it up. Right click it and use it to the eastern cannon.
option one. Climb down the ladder. Go south and on the northwestern wall you can see a map. Right click the lantern and use it to the map. Option one. Climb down the ladder. Go north and climb down the ladder. Right click the lantern and use it to the northern chest. Option 1. Go south, right click the lantern and use it to the stacked crates. Option 1. Right click the lantern and use it to the wooden pillar. Option 1. Go north and climb up the ladder. Go south, climb up the ladder and talk to Captain Bentley. To your southwest, climb down the ladder. Climb down the western ladder. Go northwest to the city and you will get a big cutscene. We cannot activate the lodestone as of yet. I will tell you when we can do that. Go to the southwestern part of the city. You can look at the minimap. Try to look for a yellow dot on the minimap. Talk to Meteora. Go south, there we will kill some enemies called Sukas. so select your fire magic spell. Kill the enemies until you get one Suga tooth and four suga hides. Don't pick any other items. We will need all of the inventory spaces. When you have one tooth and four heights, go east and talk to one oira mancer. Go northwest to the city. You will need one free inventory slot for the next part.
to your north, you should see a chicken house. Go over there and enter it. Talk to Baba Yaga. Option 2. You will get a vial. Exit the house. Go to the building with the water icon. Use the vial to the sink. Use the clean quam to the vial and tend the mar until. Right click the sugar tooth and grind it. Use it to the vial to finish off the potion. Go southeast, back to one aeromancer. Talk to one aeromancer. Now we need to visit different altars in this order. Right click your skills necklace, select cooking guild and go south to the altar. You can also use the Edgeville lodestone and run southeast from there. Enter the altar, right click the Draymond staff and use it to the altar. Right click the Ring of Dueling, rub it, option 1, Alcarid. You can also use the Alcarid Lodestone. Run north, enter the Mysterious Ruins. Right click the Lunar Staff and use it to the altar. Use the Wicked Hood's Water Altar Teleport or Enlightened Amulet to Nexus or Lumbridge Lodestone and run southwest. Enter the Mysterious Ruins, right click the Lunar Staff and use it to the altar. Use the Wicked Hood's Earth Altar Teleport or a Lambia Teleport Scroll or a Varrock Lodestone. Head to the Mysterious Ruins. Right click the Lunar Staff and use it to the altar. Use the Lodestone to Fremnic Province. We are heading back to the Lunar Isle. Go west and to the most western docks. Click Logar to travel. Climb up the ladder. Climb up the next ladder. Go east, right click Captain Bentley and travel. Climb down the southwestern ladder. Climb down the northwestern ladder. Go southeast and talk to one aeromancer. You will show her the completed lunar staff.
go northwest towards the city. You need one free inventory shot. When you get near to the entrance, go northeast. In the center of the sukas, there's a ladder. Climb down. Go west and click on the stalagmites to mine one lunar ore. Now we need to smelt it, but the lunar isle furnace doesn't work. So we will be using any other furnace. I will be using the Alcarid one, so I'm using the lodestone to Alcarid. Go northwest, use the lunar ore to the furnace. Option one. Use the lodestone to Fremenic province. Now we are heading back to the lunar isle. Head west to the city and keep going to the most western docks. Click on Logar to travel. Climb up the stairs twice. Click on Bentley to travel. Climb down the ladders to West. Go Northwest to the city. Go south in the city to the anvil and click on the anvil. Option 1. You need one free inventory shot. Next, head to the most northwestern building and talk to Pauline. Pauline. And the answer to the riddle is Jane Blood Hugged Maid. Go south. Look for the yellow dot on your minimap and talk to Meteora. Go east, out of the city, it is time to kill some Sugahs, and they will drop a special tiara. So you need one free inventory shot, and make sure you have the four heights in your inventory as well. Pick up this special tiara when you see it being dropped and head west back to the city. Go south from the town and talk to Meteora. Go east to the clothing store. Talk to Rimae. Option 2.
talk to Rimae again, and she will tan your heights. Option two. Option one. Click on all of the tanned heights and press all of the chat options to make all of the lunar equipment pieces. West of the lodestone, talk to Selene. Option 2. Now you need four free inventory shots and a spade for the next part. Get out of the city and continue to the southwestern corner. When you get to the southwestern corner, you will see some blue flowers. Stand on them and dig with your spade. Go east to the southeastern corner. Talk to one Iron Mancer to give her all of the lunar gear. You will get everything back and a couple more items. Go northwest back to the city. Head to the bank. Put on the lunar equipment, everything's written on the screen. The items to take to your inventory are a seal of passage, waking sleep vial, potion, thingy, kindling, around 200 air and fire runes, some food if you are low level, and 5 free inventory slots at least. When you are ready, we will continue. Go west to the building near the lodestone. Use the vial to the kindling and use the soaked kindling to the brazier. Click on the brazier to light it and use the kindling to the brazier. Talk to the ethereal man. Go southwest and click on the platform. The NPC will call out a number and you have to click on the dices to make the total value, which will be the number that the NPC called out. Each dice has two options they can end up to be 1 and 6, or 2 and 5, or 3 and 4. My personal way to do this is to first roll the dices to be a minimum total value and then try to make the number a little bit bigger so it ends up being the number the NPC wants. Take your time with this one. I will get back to you when we get this part done.
When you're done, you will get sent back. Talk to the ethereal man. Go southeast and click on the greenish platform. Talk to the ethereal mimic. Option 1. This one is simple. Go next to the ethereal mimic, pull up your emote menu and repeat the emote you see him doing. You have to do this five times and after each correct emote he will teleport into a different place. Zooming in with the camera helps as well. When you're done you will get sent back. Talk to the ethereal man. Go southeast and click on the purplish platform. Talk to the NPC. He will call out a specific pattern and it usually makes sense what the next number will be and you need to figure out two next numbers in the pattern. I have written the instructions on screen in case it would make you understand a little bit better. And there's a picture of the right solutions on the left. Click on the numbers in the pattern and do this enough times until you get sent back. Talk to the ethereal man. Go north and slightly east. Click on the blue colored platform. Talk to the ethereal perceptive. Option one. Chop the trees to your best. This one is rather simple. First you cut all of the trees on your side and then deposit them 
to the middle. You have to be faster than the NPC and you have no worry about this, he is pretty slow. So keep on depositing the logs to the center and chop down the trees. I will get back to you when we are done with this part. Talk to the ethereal man. Go northwest and step on the gray platform. Rotate your camera to south. Talk to the ethereal guide. You have to click on the platforms and make your way across to the other side. The solution will be different for you. I would recommend a strategy of pressing the print screen button and taking a good screenshot of the platforms, open it up in paint and then paint over the platforms with red that made you fall and the platforms which were successful put something green over them. The jumping animation is pretty slow, so this will take a while. I will get back to you when we make it to the other side.
talk to the ethereal man. Click on the Eastern platform. This is another race. Talk to the ethereal expert. Your path will be the Eastern one and you have to jump over the obstacles. Press option one when you are ready. The hitboxes are better when you click on the balls and you might fail the obstacles, but don't worry about it. You can fail a couple of times and still win the race. Good luck. Talk to the ethereal man. When you're ready for the boss fight, press option 1. The fight is pretty simple. Use the fire spells and kill the NPC. Talk to the ethereal man, click on the lectern in the middle, option 1. Go east, out of the city. Make sure you have the seal of passage with you and go to the southeastern corner of this place. Talk to one aeromancer. Congratulations, Lunar Diplomacy quest completed. You can get rid of the empty vial, click on the seal of passage to use its teleport. And now you can go west and unlock the lodestone by right clicking it and clicking on the info. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.